I think the real question is waste plus information equal resources. The key difference between a supply chain, traditional supply chain, and a circular chain is the, the number of um, stakeholders. You know, for example, if you are a company that manufactures cell phone, you maybe have like uh, a couple of hundred of suppliers, you know, and not, not, not that not much more. But if you refurbish cell phone, you have ten of thousands of suppliers. And this supplier are consumer that have in their drawer, for example, a used cell phone that is waiting to be, uh, to be, um, uh, refurbished, for example. So in these, uh, circular supply chain, circular value chain, sorry, um, there are usually a very huge number of, of partner. What are the kind of barriers to transitioning from today's op- operating value chain towards circular value chain? Um, well, there are a lot of barriers, uh, and to give you just two examples of two major barriers, um, it's, um, the, the first one is that everything is optimized for supply chain and not for a circular chain. Uh, to give you an example, uh, it's um, factories that are optimized to, they are made to manufacture new product and not to disassemble used product. Um, shops, point of sales. They are designed to um, uh, uh, sell new product and not to collect used one. Um, software, information software for company, they are designed to optimize logistics and not to manage, manage reverse logistics. So everything is designed to, to optimize supply chain and the circular chain. And the second, um, I think, is the cr- most critical challenge, obstacle, is that... Um, what is missing today is um, information. Um, you know, in supply chain, um, as soon as a product is, is, is sold, um, supply chain stop and all the information of the product, most of the information of the product is lost. And which means that when you go into this circular chain, if you are, for example, a company who, who, who repair bicycle or repair a device, you have very few information on the product you need to work, or few information on its composition, on the way it should be disassembled, the way it should be repaired. And this is very critical, you know, to, to have a, a circular chain working. One of the key challenges of the circular economy is to have the information on the used product or the used material you need to, to, to process. And today, this information is not available. Very often we say uh, that waste are resources, waste equal resources. But in real life, when you have in front of you a, a used engine or a, a used material, you have not enough information to transform this used product into a new one. I think the real question is waste plus information equal resources. Because if you have the information, um, you'll be able to, 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 um, uh, uh, tra- transform a waste into an, into a, into resources. Um, so, and it's here that technology have a key role to play because they allow information to travel with the product and to enable people who do repair, who do refurbishing, who, do, who manufacture product to get access to the information of the product. Do you have any examples of the digital text that you, technologies that you mentioned, such as artificial intelligence, QR codes, barcodes, etc.? Do you have any that you could share at the moment? Yeah, sure. Basically, for the circular economy, um, within this pool of te- digital technology, we use basically four types of technology. The first one is technology to identify uniquely a product, So in this case, it could be a a QR code or a a RFID tag uh, or digital watermark. So to identify one product uniquely. The second category of of digital technologies that are important for circular economy are technology to capture information of a product. So it could be a sensor or it could be a digital camera, for example. The third category of technology is technology to process information. 
So it could be, for example, uh, artificial intelligence, you know, to process data coming from a, a digital camera. And the first, fourth category of information is technology to, um, to, to, to share data. So it will be a, like a, a digital platform or blockchain that enable to share information across different stakeholders. How can we effectively get this data across to all the stakeholders? Well, the key is to, um, will be to standardize data, to, to, to choose a, a common language, to make sure that if you identify a product in one company with a specific idea, the same idea will be used by all the different companies which are working together into this circular, uh, circular chain. And so the key will be to, to standardize data, to use a common language. 